A group of people working to protect the Colquitts River and its fragile coho salmon run says BC Hydro may be putting those fish in jeopardy. The riverbank is eroding and Hydro says it needs to be shored up to protect a main transmission line. But neighbors say how the problem, how the utility plans to deal with the problem, is an issue. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. It's become a regular sight on Interurban Road in Saanich. There was a month of eight-hour days with large vehicles, dump trucks, uh, probably generators. There was a trailer set up. BC Hydro trucks and heavy equipment parked on the side of the road just opposite Columbine while work was underway on a leaky transmission line. Now the bank has sloughed in that area where all the heavy equipment had been sitting for such a long period of time. Volunteers have been working hard to restore the Coho Salmon Run in the Colquitts River for years, and they've already had a lot to deal with. An oil spill in November 2011 and mineral oil that is still leaking from hydro transmission lines. But now they're worried that BC Hydro's plan to shore up the bank will cause even more harm than good. Coho smolts, which are one and a half years old, are migrating through here right now so that they can uh, be in Portage Inlet. On Thursday, BC Hydro crews cut down 10 trees, preparing to use spray concrete to stabilize the bank. It's a real concern to use shot creek at the side of a salmon migration and totally unnecessary to have removed these uh, bank stabilizing trees. Probably by cutting down all the, the vegetation, it's actually made matters worse. David Polster has more than 30 years experience in steep slope restoration. There are other ways of doing this. He says more ecologically friendly and aesthetically pleasing ways. Basically the key is to slow flow velocities. So, and the, the river's not moving all that quickly through here anyways, but getting plant materials that will uh, act to, to slow the flows and, uh, and allow sediments to be deposited as opposed to sediments to be eroded. It's an option Chambers would like to see BC Hydro consider for the salmon's sake. I can't comment on what Hydro thinks because I've been in touch with their environmental manager and I was put off to another department, so none of my questions were answered. BC Hydro had no one available to comment on the issue today. Neighbors say they were told the shotcrete would be applied to the bank today, but it appears to have been postponed. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Saanich.